Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve equals true. Wait a minute, I'm not in Excel, I'm in PowerPoint. What am I doing? Oh, I know. I'm going to show you a technique in PowerPoint because as a professional using Microsoft products and using uh, Excel um, as a business analyst or project manager, you are frequently asked to create status reports or other reports in PowerPoint. It's uh, not quite as flexible as I would probably like, but let me show you how to get around one issue that I've had. And that involves when I have inserted a shape, um, like let's say a circle uh, within my table here. And if I copy and paste that and do it again, uh, it looks like I'm putting it in this table here, but I, in fact, I'm not. If I come in and I add a new uh, row in here, um, let's say rows uh, below, notice that the shape stays there and it is not what I desire. Um, also, if I move my table away, my shapes stay where they are. It's not what I want at all. Uh, let's show you how we get around that. Um, first, one other trick with shapes. Uh, you can create a perfect circle here by holding down your shift key. Oops, didn't do it quick enough. If I go to insert shapes, click on oval and just start doing it right away. I'm holding my shift key down and it is making a perfect little circle there for me. Uh, it'll save me some time from trying to have to stretch my oval left and right. Uh, now let's uh, make this a green circle because everything's wonderful on my project. I'm gonna change this to green with no outline. And uh, now I've got my circle, but it doesn't matter where I put it because uh, I'm going to insert this differently within the table. So to have this locked into that cell and uh, shift with the cells as I insert new rows or columns, um, what you wanna do is click on your shape, do Control C, or you can right click on it and do Copy. Then go into your table, click into the cell that you wanna put that green circle, right click on that cell and click on Format Shape, as you see down here at the very bottom. This will give you a Format Shape dialog box that you can move around. And what we wanna do is we wanna change our fill from No Fill to a Picture or Texture Fill. Now, there's several different choices I have. One of those is being the clipboard. And so you can see it's already kind of put that in there as, uh, as my shape, um, and it is there and good to go. Now, um, right off the bat, your shape will not look like this. I have modified my offsets, you see. This is what your shape will look like. It'll fill up the entire thing. Um, so if I do that and do Control C, let's go into Closing. I'm gonna right click on it, and you, once again, you can do Format Shape picture or texture fill, it's going to throw it in there from the clipboard or I could do it again anyway. Um, but notice these are all zeros once again. And let's just do it in the third one and do clipboard. Now what you want to do is you can change your offsets. Um, you want to give it a top margin of like let's say 40, a right margin of around 40, something like that. Whatever ends up looking good for you, I'm going to do a top and bottom of 10%. And now I have a perfectly centered shape there. And if I need to add a phase one in between execution and closing, I can insert rows below. And uh, look at that, it's actually even getting some of my fill shape in there as well. So we can say this is phase one, but you know what, phase one is off. And so I'm gonna go in, copy one of these, uh, my shape again. I'm gonna do Control C and Control V and paste and get a yellow one over here for me. So to do that, I need to go click on the shape, do format, change my fill shape to yellow. Still no outline is good for me. I'm gonna do Control C. And in phase one here, I wanna right click on that shape, uh, that cell, do format shape. And I wanna paste my clipboard in there. And now I've got it as yellow. So uh, let's say uh, we also have red now because phase one is lagging um, my, uh, Closing phase is going to be more red instead of yellow. And so I can now come over here, do a Control C to copy, come into my cell, right click on it, do Format Shape, do from the clipboard, there's my red value. So you'll have to play around with a little bit, but uh, um, once you uh, now notice, uh, I, it still holds pretty true when I increase the table to the right. Um, and if I increase it down a little bit, it's still, you can change your offsets in here, but at least they're moving with them. And if you just move the entire table completely, look, they're moving with them. They are no longer objects that are separated because uh, we've inserted those as a background fill. So hopefully this helps you in your project status reports in Microsoft PowerPoint, um, or if you've got any other uh, status reports where you're requiring to put a shape within a cell uh, of a table within PowerPoint. 
So once again, this is Steve Equals True. Please head on over to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn other great techniques like this. Also consider subscribing to my video channel so you get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.